Hi, welcome to another series with Trial Join. In this, we're going to cover the types of studies out there, parallel and crossover. First one we're going to cover is the parallel study. So for a simplified explanation, just imagine there's two groups that are being studied in parallel. So one group is given treatment A, let's call this group 1. And then group 2 is given another treatment altogether, which is considered treatment B. So in a parallel study, both groups can be given an active drug, or one can be given an active drug, another can be given a placebo. This may depend on the condition. So let's say you have oncology. In that case, a placebo won't be given all alone. It will be given a standard of care with the placebo and, and whatnot. So it always depends on the mortality of the condition, so they're not going to risk someone's life in a study uh, that wouldn't be ethical and, or humane in any sense. Um, now the next type of study is a crossover study. This is where both the groups will start off with different drugs, active drugs, or one group will have the drug and one will have the placebo, and then about halfway in the study they may switch over and, and swap, so group A might get the, the placebo or the active drug that group 2 was getting, and vice versa, group 2 will get what group 1 was getting. And since you're switching medications and, and you want to make sure there's no weird effects, there is typically a washout period to avoid what's considered the carryover effect. Um, so there is a bit of time where they may just be both given placebo to wash it out or uh, different different setups for different types of studies. And crossover studies are beneficial for people with chronic conditions, controlled conditions, non-life-threatening conditions, usually phase one and two studies, and studies that are easier to enroll. Um, they're not good for progressive diseases such as oncology, life-threatening conditions, again, like oncology or acute conditions.